Hey friends, happy Self Love Sunday. So this is going to be about doing the inner work. Now, what is the inner work? Well, usually the inner work is the thing that nobody wants to do because it is so much effort. It requires going deep within. Sometimes it's bringing up old stuff that we don't want to see or we don't want to deal with. Sometimes it creates some pain within us. Um, it makes us look at ourselves. It makes us see things that maybe we don't want to see about ourselves. It does require a lot of effort. It does require a lot of um, going deep within, a lot of shadow work. And that is something that a lot of us don't want to do, including myself. However, to progress, to um, have a more joyful, more loving, more um, committed life, to committed to or dedicating um, honoring yourself and finding that self-worth and that self-love, finding out where those old patterns and beliefs are, we have to do that work. We have to go deep within. Otherwise, we are basically holding ourselves back from greatness. We are holding ourselves back from receiving uh, or allowing more love into our lives, more um, joy, more happiness. And I know the same with myself that I see other people do this because they don't want to face that. They don't want to look at that, so they just stay in their comfortable space because it's so much easier. They know what they're going to get if they stay where they are. It is familiar, and I totally get that, and I totally see it, and it's so much easier to just keep going about your day, keep going the same way. However, to reach uh, another um, another level of consciousness, another uh, level of understanding that there is more to this life than what we see and what we experience, more than, you know, these physical bodies and these limiting thoughts, then we have to go within and take a look at what's lying beneath the surface because there's usually something there that we have kind of pushed aside, we haven't dealt with. And when you don't deal with someone, something, you are uh, basically just shoving it into the back of the closet. And eventually that will come forward. It's kind of like when you put throw stuff into the Tupperware uh, cupboard and you just keep throwing it in there and then eventually it just comes falling out because it hasn't been dealt with. It hasn't been uh, organized and understood and that's what you need to do with your those old um, belief systems, con uh, old um, lower level consciousness, uh, the old patterns, those things that you didn't want to look at or you just kind of swept away, those will come up for you and they will continue to come up for you until you can look at it and see it for what it is and then change your vibration to that. So it isn't um, a way of uh, looking at these past mistakes or looking at how someone hurts you but it's a way of seeing it and what you can take from it, what that experience showed you. Because throughout our lives, we are just going through these experiences and these experiences help us to level up and become greater than what we are. They help us to expand and to grow. And if we are just pushing them aside and we are not taking them and looking at them and, and realizing what it is that, um, we are getting from that or understanding from that, then it's it's not going to go away. So take a look at that. Take a look at um, what it is in your life that is a consistent pattern or what it is that you continue to um, 
align to or uh, bring up for yourself. So if there's something that, um, let's say in relationships, uh, you are aligning to people in your life in relationships and they're all pretty much different faces but same scenarios, take a look at that at the why. And if it's something that you don't want especially, then take a look at why it is that that keeps coming up for you because there is a pattern, there's an old belief, there's an old thought, an old emotion that needs to be looked at and dealt with. And don't live there, don't live in that old memory, don't live in that old pattern or that old emotion. You just wanna observe it, you wanna understand it like, oh, that's why, that is why I keep creating the same scenario. And I don't want that anymore. So that's when you begin to level up because now you are honoring yourself. You are treating yourself as a loving being. You are understanding your worth more and your value. And you will begin to respect yourself and realize that, hey, I don't want this anymore. This doesn't work for me anymore. And what do I need to let go of or release or change? Um... What new vibration or energy do I need to adopt or adapt to, to create something different? And then that's when you will see those changes happen. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this, I have some online meditation courses. I have self-love courses online, uh, pre-recorded, so you have a lifetime access to them. So check link in bio or go to my website at lovealchemywellness.ca. I will see you next time.